Wow, what a beautiful day. I finally get a break. Can't wait to get outside. Wow, gorgeous. Uh, That's so fast. Why don't you come over here and finish up a problem with me, please, in chemistry? Uh-oh. Dr. Germano, I thought we were done for today. Done? We've just begun, my friend. Get over here. Okay. All right. What you... What are you doing here? I would What's like you to on? look at this molecule that I posted on my dad's study group. It was called sulfur tetrafluoride. And I want to show you how we go about doing the geometry on it. First thing you do is we got to find the total number of valence electrons. Sulfur is in group 16, but we call it group 6. Fluorine is in group 7, or group 17, but we're going to call it 7. So sulfur has six valence electrons. Fluorine has seven, and there's four of them. And therefore, seven fours are 28. We add them up, we get a total of 34 valence electrons. I put the sulfur in the middle, all the fluorines go to the outside, and then each outside atom gets eight. So we have two, four, six, and the single bond here counts as two more to make eight. So we have eight, 16, 24, 32, and anything left over goes to the central atom. So as you can see from this shape, we have four bonding regions and one lone pair. A nice little trick I like to do is to count the areas of space. You got one area here, you got two areas here, you got three areas here, you got four areas here. Now the question is, do I count these dots or do you think I leave them out? What do you think, Ms. Steen? Do we keep them or leave them out? Count. That's right. How would you like if we didn't put you in there and we didn't count you? So we do count it. So that makes a total of five areas of space. If you look at DSP3, a nice little trick is to think of it as three areas of P, one area of S, and one area of D. That gives you five areas of space. Five areas of space coincides with DSP3. I hope that clears up how to do the hybridization that you need to find the molecular geometry first, then do the hybridization second. That really should be a help. I promised my dad to destroy a group to post this question, and now you know how to do it. It's a guaranteed type of question you're going to see in the dad. In the dad destroyer, I have many, many other similar questions to this where I can ask you the shape of this, or I can ask you for the um, hybridization. If anyone's curious on the type of molecular geometry in which four bonded areas and one lone pair, it's called a seesaw shape. All right, good day to you. I hope that helps. I got some molecular orbital calculations to look over. So I'm going to be saying goodbye to the death study group. Okay, Dr. Romano. Can, can I go now? Is that it? Are we done? We're done for a while, maybe for about an hour, and then we're going to do some more video clips. So good day to you, and enjoy your hour break. Is Goodbye. a seesaw like a seesaw horse? What? I, no, I, it's a seesaw molecular geometry. Good day to you. Oh, gosh. Okay. I think I'm catching on to it. Good day to you, sir. Goodbye.